Yo, what's going on, y'all? It's your boy Mario. Welcome back to the channel. Now, today we got some more Rise of the TMNT. Now, this is episode four. Uh, it's called Repo Mantis Down with the Sickness. Now, last episode, we left off. You know, the turtles were helping uh, April with a little birthday party. You know, that went crazy. You know, the animatronics was attacking. You know, it, it was crazy. I don't know, like, why, you know, parents let their kids in an environment like that. But, you know, you know, you know stuff be happening in New York. New York is probably, like, the worst place to live. But, uh, yeah, they helped April with that. And then, um... What else happened? Uh, it was the second part was what was it called? Newsworthy or something like that. And then, uh, yeah, Warren Stone, the little worm dude, was trying to get his revenge on the turtles, but you know he was just neglected the whole episode, not even paid attention to, ignored. He couldn't even really get any screen time, and even when he did, like the turtles were just you know like, sorry, move out the way, we, we don't care about you. And then, uh, yeah, they uh fought this 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 rhino dude. So uh, yeah, this is episode four. Excited to get back into it. And uh, I hope I'm watching this in the right order. You know, I mean, this is only episode four, but hey, you know, hopefully, you know, if I if I'm watching this in the wrong order and y'all, you know, got the next episode for me, correct me before I get like to season two. But uh, yeah, let's go ahead and get into it. Leave a like, comment, subscribe, greatly appreciate it. Man, junkyards are gold mines. They had a junkyard. What are they doing here? You have one of these babies. He remind me of Gizmo from uh, Teen Titans with those little robot arms. Damn, bro. <laughs> they finna kill them. Mikey, next time I would appreciate a heads up. Okay. Heads up! Heads up. Oh, it's just them two in there. Okay. The Jupiter Gym Moon Buggy! That's the Cybertruck for them. <laughs> Ooh, yo, no, that thing actually looks real nice. Damn, why are they tossing around like that? Let that historical gym slip through their fingers. That's what I'm saying. I would have sold that. Damn, a trillionaire. Hard. Look at the little cat. Go and talk to one, of those <laughs> people? one of those human people. Yeah, here go another mutant. What is he supposed to be? Oh no, a mutant! Wait, we're mutants too. It's okay. <laughs> Dude, you better hide. <laughs> There's a human guy around here. Easy, easy. Yeah. This is Repo, Repo Mantis Salvage. I is me. This is your lot? You have to sell us that moon. Oh, Mantis. He's a Mantis. Okay. Took me a minute, but you know, I got it. This is a negotiation. All right. What are we negotiating? So I know. Okay. Where do y'all stay? Getting all y'all's fingerprints all over it. Silver, small silver, and I can make it rain, Copper Daddy. <laughs> yeah, you ain't got nearly enough, but say. Damn, he said y'all, you know, y'all a little too broke for me. You ever do any repo work? Of course. No, what's repo work? Do a job for me today, and I'll let you have that. Okay, okay. A little payment for thy work? That's not a little payment, that's a big payment. And I don't know if you know this, but you're kind of a softie. That really hurts my feelings. Oh. You have a point. The job got to be big if he's going to give him this car after they're done. V from a real shady mutant. Holes okay. up in the woods on the wrong side of the tracks in the darkest outskirts of the bad part. Is that a, is that a My Neighborhood Totoro reference? No, that's funny. That's fire. I love this guy. Wallace Loner doesn't pay his bills, lives in this very spooky forest. He is a 98% match for the spine-breaking bandit. And you don't even know what he looked like. You know, you know, you know, proceed with caution. Ugh. That's the biggest forest dweller I've ever seen. He is totally gonna break our spines. Maybe we should call Raph and Leo. I was about to ask, where are they? Donnie and Mikey doing side quests right now. On doing this, we gotta go stealth. Sneak Jitsu 101. Never oh, too late. Never let a get behind you. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you just take the RV. You got the keys in there still? Oh my gosh, he got all his homies in there. Hey, I'm Todd. Welcome to Cuddle Kick. Hey, Todd. Oh, it's just a bunch of dogs. You got a little daycare, a little doggy daycare. Right. And which one are you having for dinner? All right. It's dinner Imagine he just like <laughs> actually had like a whole bunch of dogs that he just be eating. I'd be like, all right, bro. Hey, you guys you got to go. Todd seemed cool, though. I like, donate it to folks in Alaska who need a little sunshine. That's all. Oh, who's that? I, I recognize that voice. Who is that? Oh, man, I'm terrible at names. I wish I could remember. No spine -breaking bandit. He's the nicest guy That's what I'm saying. Like, Todd is a nice he person, bro. Like, we gotta be tough hey, you gonna have to get it if you're trying to get that one car. That cyber truck. Got it. So, 
some more negotiating. Let's get down to business about your RV. <laughs> sure thing. Could you hold Willis? Bro, how could you steal from somebody like Todd, bro? Like, look at him, bro. He got all these puppies. Like, look at all these cute little dogs. You little mischief maker. Look at Don. He's like, <laughs> he's trying to play bad cop. Haven't made a payment in two years, and that means you just keep rolling over to him. <laughs> My hardest nails he just keeps rolling them off the table. <laughs> and I'll call you Indiana Bones. Indiana, Indiana Bones. Mikey, come on. Oh, oh, nah, bro, how could you resist, bro, not playing with the, all those dogs? Like, I completely forget about, you know, getting the RV. I never get to clean the yard up. But you guys are so good at this. Even have y'all do a whole bunch of work. <laughs> this is not what they came here for. Now they're working for free. That's tough. Why did we just do that? I don't know, Michael. I don't know. <laughs> Niceness is his super... Why do you just call him Michael? <laughs> Bro called him the government. That sounds great. No, no. We didn't come here to help you. We came here to repo your RV. Damn. Yeah, I guess me and the pups will just sleep on... Ah, even to give us a sob story. <laughs> Man, ain't nobody care, bro. You got to find somewhere else. Ugh. Bro, okay, now, now the dogs is like Nah, these dogs are too smart, bro <laughs> Okay. They selling uh, the act right now uh, You trade us that dusty RV And we make you a new place to sleep You finna bring them down to the sewers I was finna say y'all can yell Bring them to y'all's home And a place to feed the puppies And bathe and, and diaper and play with them Oh, that's gonna be annoying though Like, Todd seemed like a cool person, but like <laughs> He's one of those who just doesn't stop talking. It's just like gets annoying after a while. And go. Oh, they finna build him one. Oh, okay. Oh, that's actually kind of fire. Yo, that it just became a it just became a two man construction company just like that. The dogs helping too. How many days passed? That was like what five, five days, five days, four nights. No, oh, they're really building. No, they just built a theme park. Yo, not only does he have a place to live and, and have his dogs stay with him and, and feed them, but he literally has an amusement park so people can drop them off. He can make a lot of money from this. Like, I'll never forget you. they did way more than what he asked for. <laughs> and they did it all for free. They have eight nipples. All right. All right, Todd, bro. <laughs> By the time that the, the car is probably gone, huh? They did take a minute what though. Happened was, I ain't giving it to you. Turns out, Donkey Jupiter gym fans will pay big bucks just to see. <laughs> exactly, that's what I'm saying. Like I know that I know that car cost like millions. Kids, and you got tricked. We are not yeah, not like they sold. One of y'all took too long. Y'all took like five days building everything. Oh my gosh. The one thing about this show though, the fights is always gonna go crazy. Always. Okay, Mikey. Oh, yes, sir. Just like that. Nice and easy. Deal is a deal. You know, you, you did tell him that. Technically, they didn't shake on it, but hey, man. Donnie and Mikey, they mean business. They ain't got time to be playing around. All that time they spent with Todd, bro. <laughs> they got to get something out of that. <laughs> like, or you better pay attention. You're going to run into... Oh, my gosh. Nah, bro. Somebody's definitely died during one of these, like, <laughs> little fights that they've had. Oh my gosh, bro. Yeah, I hope nobody's on the road, bro. <laughs> oh my gosh, bro. But one, you weren't even looking both ways. So that's your fault. Ooh. Yo, the angles, the shots, bro. Fire. Fire. That is disgusting. I'd have been so mad, like, because you're not getting out of your clothes. Them, them shit is going to stain. There is a bug zapper, but why didn't you try that first? You didn't have a 3,000 after it. <laughs> Gotta have the 3,000. <laughs> Why, thank you. <laughs> Gotta have the 3,000 already official. All right, P that man. Hey, riding out in the sunset. Hey, mission accomplished. Look at Todd. All the puppies. Ah! That's clean. Oh, that's fire. Are they playing a uh, uh, what's this game called? I can't remember. Dance Dance, Re Dance, Dance Revolution, something like that. Ah, oh, that's tough. Brain. One boy turned into a zombie. Are oh, you got a brain freeze? Oh, he's just sick. 
Chew. <laughs> that cute little sneeze. <laughs> and with the sickness, okay. Starting to make sense now. Yes, you do. Thought she was going to die. Oh my gosh. You look horrifying. That's what you look like. How are they going to cure this? You're going to help him out. I'm talking the full seven okay. stages. Walk us through the seven stages. Mm -hmm. You guys know what the full seven stages are. I, I, I do not. I don't. Another chance to get whatever we want. Mm, damn, that's kind of messed up, though. <laughs> Poor, dad. Poor dad. He must feel terrible. They finna take advantage of his of him being sick. <laughs> oh. Make it to the end, which I'm now calling the must say yes stage. What are we gonna must say yes stage? There's a lot, you man. You know, the options are endless. I was thinking we could ask for. Uh, um, uh, he's got nothing. They ain't even got nothing. I'm the same way though. Like when somebody ever asked me, like, "Oh, what do you want for your birthday? What do you want for this?" It's like, I, I, I don't know. I just, I just don't know. <laughs> unicorn onesies. Those are sick. Pun intended. And I nailed it. <laughs> and I nailed it. <laughs> Not him giving him props for his own jokes, bro. So exciting, but terrible for dad. I like how Mikey's like. Just excited for it, but he's also like, you know, knows what one is going through. Weird. It was bad. Okay. Okay. Bro, I'm not gonna lie, this. <laughs> but he looks disgusting. I hate stage one. Think warm thoughts, pizza ovens, bricks from Italy, wood chips roasting. Ugh. Before I was. I don't think y'all gotta have it this cold. Like they got it like negative degrees in here. Drinking hot now cocoa and everything. Hey, you know, Mikey was prepared. Or not Mikey, Leo. Ugh! Oh my gosh. You're like a naked mole rat. Look like Rufus. Oh my gosh. Oh no, that's, just, that's actually terrifying. Wild rat man. Oh nah. They got the suits. <laughs> I like how like all the things that they get is always their color. Gotta have their color. Lure them in with the pizza. Yo, that is disgusting. Okay, this should hold him for a while. And you're sure this isn't cruel. He loves pizza and confined spaces you can barely breathe in. <laughs> I was about to say, like, do y'all not have any holes for him to breathe? <laughs> he loves pizza and confined space that you can barely breathe in. <laughs> Oh no, nah, bro. And just like that, he's out. Yo, this this man's splinter is like. Mikey, follow me. No, this this is a crazy sickness. Anyone before? Stage seven. I thought we all agreed it was now called the must say yes stage. stage. Nobody agreed to that. Here for me to be careful if I knew you were gonna ask for a pizza oven. <laughs> they all want different things. Oh, this is like the horror stage part. You know, he's gonna be creeping through the walls and. Cracks and crevices. Ugh. <laughs> that just gives me the chills. Like, that's nasty, bro. Oh, nah, bro. <laughs> okay. Is it stage three? Stage three. Captain Cuddle Cakes. Captain Cuddle Cakes. Oh, you finna try to cuddle everybody? Do not breathe. I know, right? I mean, it's not as bad as the last, last two stages, though. Oh, nah. Yep. No, you gotta be, you know. You got to be contained in in your own room, cause you probably infected now too. Yep, quarantine them now. Quarantine them. No, no, they don't. No, sir. So whoever's the last one is gonna get who they uh, get what they want. Cause they're gonna be the only ones to make the stage seven. Ninja Supreme. Okay. Hot soup. <laughs> Bro, what? Oh, oh yeah, that's not good. Which splinter go? I like how they cover themselves as if they were naked. Hey, that is my butt. They go get them night vision goggles. Bravo, going dark. He's in his ninja mode, you know, so. You're gonna be real stealthy. Oh, yeah. There you go, Donnie, man. Oh, nah. Nope. Pack him up right now. He got bit. He got scratched. Stage five. Stage five, singing karaoke, karaoke love, song. love song. Okay, talk to me, Splinter. Oh, so he hitting that low key. Hold on now. Three, totally 
Oh yeah, nah, yeah. Get get down. Uh, uh. I'm gonna say Dante. <laughs> get Donny out of here, man. It's down to two. Uh, nah, I think think we'll be fine. There's a reason why you're in there and these two are out here. Fan fiction. This is amazing. Yeah, write that down. Write that down. Oh, how did Mikey get? He was a little too close. A little too close for comfort. They all had different things they wanted, so you know, it's like Raph. He might, he might be getting, getting what he wants. I love you, my brother, but you do tend to fail in big moments, pish posh. But that he said you folding under pressure. You now bring it in, buddy. I'm gonna hug you till a smile comes out. I like how they're all trying to like sabotage each other. So like, big time moments are the people that are quarantined. So they're like, I, I, I can't get none. You're not getting none either. He must say yes. Make him say yes. Ah. They all going crazy, man. <laughs> little rap -a -doodle. My little. <laughs> Why are you talking to him like that? Must say yes. Day seven must say yes. Come on now. Come on now, Ralph. Uh-huh. You'll say yes to whatever I ask for. You're not supposed to say that because now he's gonna say no. Oh nah. You didn't take his weapons? What? No, anything but that. Oh no. Yes, yeah, He kissed him on the cheek and everything. Now he's finna get himself some. <laughs> oh, that was funny. This was actually actually that was probably this was probably my favorite episode so far. I know it's still the beginning and everything, and like nothing really crazy has happened, you know, like story wise and everything. But I actually like this episode. It was cool. It's like a you know, cause I, I'm like a big like slice of life type of person. Like my favorite genre in anime is slice of life. So just these slice of life moments of them just hanging out, Mikey and Donnie going on these side missions, side quests, doing random things, trying to get cars. You know, these little moments like this, Splinter sick going through these seven stages of them trying to you know make it to the last stage to you know get what they want this is this is this was funny this was a cool episode <laughs> like i'm slowly but surely getting back into it i hope i'm watching this in the right order though nobody got nobody got what they wanted in the end it was you know splinter you know his sickness is gone now probably gonna get himself a motorcycle everybody probably else sick. all the turtles are probably sick now but uh yeah this is a really fun episode this is really cool uh, so far i'm really liking it. i'm really enjoying it so far you know getting to know the turtles and these characters these different personalities that they have and just uh these little moments that they have of just doing these side quests and just all these little random things but yeah uh, let me know if i'm watching this in the correct order and uh yeah i'll see you on my next reaction my next episode i'm gonna keep on reacting to this keep on posting this uh like i said i'm doing one episode at a time so uh yeah appreciate y'all don't get early access on patreon and uh, yeah, I'll see y'all in my next reaction. Peace.